are in southern New Mexico visiting my family for Christmas and um, we are staying at a little state park here and Peyton has been itching to get out of the house as you can see it's beautiful and sunny but it's 40 degrees here it got in the 20s last night and I am freezing my butt off um, but he wanted to get out and go to the playground and now we are um, over here at the little duck pond. You can hear the ducks. There's some out there. I think the last time we were here, the time before that, uh, all of this water was pretty much gone. They were redoing the ponds. But now they're back and the ducks are happy. What are they saying? I have no idea. Day 101. The summertime, springtime, there's people out here all the time that are um, fishing and having cookouts and things like that. But obviously, right now, we're freezing our tails off and nobody else is out here. So, this is the playground that he wanted to come play at. and uh, picnic areas you can sit you like this playground what's your favorite part the really tall slide yeah that one like throws you off the end doesn't it okay Golf and Peyton will come out of the camper and like play disc golf. Let's see if there's any disc golf right there. But uh, I don't know if you can see in the distance there, there's a camper. There's one other camper here, but they, we haven't seen them around, so I'm not real sure that they're even uh, out here. They may just be storing their RV out here for some reason right now. It's really inexpensive. $90 a week or $18 a night to stay out here and it's got electric water and sewer so it's super inexpensive but right now there is no electricity so we are thankful for the southern New Mexico sun for our solar lots of solar. We're also having to run the generator a little bit. There's football goals. Um, so the kids have come out and played football. This is also a place where they um, shoot off fireworks at 4th of July. So when we were here at 4th of July, we had a spot and we were able to have the family out and come watch fireworks, city fireworks from out here. 
but overall this is a pretty pretty neat little campground we enjoy our time out here and then it's close enough into town that it only takes us about 10 minutes to get to my family's house in the evenings or on the weekends or um, just whenever we want to go over there but you can see the campsites have picnic tables covered picnic tables at um, a good majority of them not all of them do there's also places for tent camping so there's some places out in the center um, where you'll find tent campers um, camping there are bathrooms over here I haven't been in them every time we come they're they're locked up I think there's a code to get in but you know with sewer hookups we don't really need that so we don't go over there much and it's just a small little circular loop and I mean there's probably I don't know 15 or 20 campsites out here but this is Harry McAdams Park and campground that we're staying and it's a good place um, to stop off if you need to in southeastern New Mexico.